new early last year with the identity of this offense would be? What, what would you say it is at this stage? Uh, we haven't really talked, well, we have talked about identity, but I think it just carries over from last year. It's a physical, smart, precise team. I think we're going to keep carrying that through camp and just, we'll figure it out as it goes, but we're playing hard, we're playing physical, and that's where we are right now. Over here, Alejandro. Hey, I, you talked after the spring game about how it could, could elevate the offensive line. Realistically, you know, I guess how realistic is it for someone to come in having not had that many, not that much experience with the team and actually plug right in? Well, he's played a lot of football before he's got here, and he brought that experience here. He's already a leader on this team. Everybody respects him. He's taken that role in a stride, and he's just, from spring ball here, he's still going like this, so he's doing a really good job for us. Over to the left, Michael. Ryan, you talked about how some of the edge guys that have come through here over the years have helped in your development and vice versa. Um, from the guys on this year's team, what have you seen from maybe some guys that didn't get as much playing time last year? Maybe who stood out to you so far? Yeah, they're all doing a great job right now. You got Mike Morris, Upshaw, Braden, Jalen. Uh, Julius is doing well now back at end. All those guys are stepping up. They're all rotating in. They're all doing a good job right now. So it'll be interesting to see who they're killing that with. Questions for Ryan over here. Ryan? What have been, uh, your impressions been of Andrew Gentry so far? He's been great. You know, it's it's always hard for freshman linemen. You always see it. It's a big learning curve from wherever they were to here. And Gentry has actually done, he's very, or he's a lot further ahead than other freshmen. Like the other freshmen are doing good, but from freshmen I've seen come out through the years, he's further ahead than most guys right now. Staying over here, Isaiah. How different is it now that you do have that successful year from last year, this year, just kind of building off of that? How, how is that different, or how does it manifest itself in camp? Well, I think we're definitely further ahead than we were last year just because we were able to do some more stuff this summer with the team. And I think everybody knows the standard now. It's been set. We don't have to talk about that. Everybody's got the same motivation. So I think we're just building on last year and just we want, to, we want more than last year. Last year wasn't good enough for us in our minds, so we're just going to keep building off that. To build off that, I guess, what, how, how much do you guys look back at what happened in that final game against Georgia and uh, yeah. let that kind of inform where you go from here? Yeah, Michigan State and Georgia are our biggest motivation right now. Those two games were not good for us. We want those back. and So I guess it's just preparing for because we won the Big Ten Championship. We won Ohio State, but we want more than that right now. So we just we that's our motivation. We're going to keep working towards that. Here, Brian. Uh, what, what was your reaction to being number six in the, in the coaches' poll? I mean, yeah, we don't really care about that that much. We don't. I don't think any of us talked about it. It's just, I mean, where it doesn't really matter where we start. It's a matter of where we finish. So, back to the left side, Michael. Brian, in the chances we had last year to see JJ play, he was able to extend some plays and do things outside the pocket. When when he takes reps in practice, do you notice yourself or the line in general having to block longer because of some of the things he can do with his legs to extend plays? I guess we don't really think about that. Either if KJ or JJ's in there, it's no different for us. We support both those guys. They're both great quarterbacks, and I don't, I don't think we feel a difference in that sense. No. Got time for more questions for Ryan. How, how would you describe the competition and relationship between JJ and, and uh, Kate? I think it's, it's great competition. They're both supportive of each other. They're both, you know, one guy makes a play. They, one guy makes a play, the other guy makes a play. So it's going to be interesting to see where we are at the end of the month. But it's been good for our team. I think healthy competition. So it's been good. We both support both of them, whatever happens. On the left side, Brandon. Um, Coach Moore was pretty open about Trente kind of holding down. <laughs> About Trent take home down the right tackle spot. Just what you know? What have you seen from him uh, that's allowed him to do that? I mean, that's pretty noteworthy that Coach Moore would kind of just say he's the guy right now. I mean, yeah, Trent had a good off season, good time in the weight room. I think his confidence is up. But Carson's playing great, great football right now too. So it'll be interesting. But Trent has played good, really good for us. But Carson's pushing. They're both playing really good football. So. Back to the right side, Isaiah. I've already asked you about the what you've seen from the ends kind of as a whole as it stood out, but what, what about Mike Morris in particular? Where have you seen him grow from last year to now? He's definitely playing with more confidence, I think, because he's in that role now, and he's gotten a lot stronger, a lot bigger. I think he did a lot this offseason, studied his game, study what he does well, what he needs to work on. I think he's just become a more fluent rusher. 
there's just been more opportunities to do that. He's stout in the run game. So just his game is really, I think, on the next level right now. I think we'll continue to go up too. Staying on that right side, Brandon. What did you work on this offseason? What were some of your goals and what are you looking to uh, apply them with this year? Yeah, I just, you know, I changed up some of my techniques uh, from last season, which has really helped me, but also just putting on more muscle. And I think that's what I've noticed the most in this first week, week and a half, is just I feel a lot stronger, a lot more comfortable taking on bull rushes and stuff like that.